Um, so what I thought I would do is a demo first, and then we'll practice. Um, we're going to start to layer in uh, some other little kind of essential pieces. And most of this is so that I can get you to start to practice the, you know, not just verb tenses, but playing in their space, noticing their gestures, noticing how using their gestures will help you to do the collapse much more easily. Basically, I want you to get comfortable, you know, noticing what you can notice, using yourself as the mirror, you know, and playing a little bit, seeing what happens. Anyway, that's going to happen, and I will show you how it goes. Well, you know, I love this because I never know what the hell is about to happen in a demo anyway, but I'm hoping to show you the pattern in a very clear way. So who wants to change something with me? Thank you. Come on up. <coughs> this, this chair. This chair is making some very strange. It is not my stomach, people. It is the chair. Here you go. All right. So what do you want to change right now? I'm dealing with some stress around my family. OK, so when was the last time specifically that stress came up? A couple of days before the conference. So it's a couple of days before the conference. Where are you and what's happening? I'm in my room, and I just got a message from a family member. And I don't really want to talk to them. I'm OK, feeling... stop. Sorry. <laughs> That's how I work with clients, too. <clears throat> stop. And I actually know that he you know, skidded past it, but I wanted you to see something, right? So we're so good at not going where, you know, at not touching it, that he quickly scuttled over it, right? And I got a message, and he kept going. And I got a message, and I really didn't want to write. So I'm going to say back up. So there's a moment right before you get the message. So where are you again? In my room. So you're in your room, and you, you get a message. You look at the phone, and what do you see? I see a message from my father. OK, right there. Now, it's subtle, but you see it. I see a message from my father, and there's this there's this state change. There's a, there's a, right. Is this okay? This yeah, is a absolutely. teaching demo. <laughs> I realize, you know. So there's a state change. You can see it. You can see even the color in his face slightly shifts. His breathing slightly shifts. These are the things I'm sorting for. Now, shake it off a little bit. Okay. How do you want to feel instead? If you could feel anyway. Uh, independent. And what's it like when you're feeling independent? How do you know you're feeling independent? I feel empowered, and I feel like I can do things. Right. <laughs> yeah. So when you feel like you're empowered and you can do things, and you know, it's so funny because families like that, right? Like I had a client who was a who was like a top neurosurgeon of his thing. But when he goes home for Thanksgiving, he's just the little fucking brother. And he still gets like his hair pulled. You know, like he still gets wrestled. And he's like, I am head of surgery. And but families like that. So there's other areas in your life, other places where you feel dependent. I mean, independent. Yeah. And so you know what it feels like in your body. And you can do things. And you feel independent. So try that on a little bit, just so you can really access what it feels like when you're free, right? And when you're feeling independent, what else about this is important for you to remember when you're feeling independent? What do you mean by that? I mean like, who am I as a person? What are, what are the things I want to do with my life? Like all of these things that come with this feeling of independence. You don't even have to share it. Just allow yourself to touch it a little bit, right? And when you know you are independent and becoming even more so, now see the message from your father. And what are you noticing now? It doesn't bother me as much. Right, because we're starting to 
change. So now imagine for a moment. Stop. So I'm working a little bit here because I'm not necessarily seeing a very obvious state change. So I have to allow him to go inside. That's why I say, what else goes with this, right? What else do you remember when you remember how good it feels when you're independent? What are some of the dreams you have for yourself? I'm like, I'm doing this to build up the resource a little bit more than I can see. And maybe he's got it going on and I'm just not seeing it because I didn't have my second espresso. <laughs> <laughs> so, so as you're feeling this, and now we've got a little laughter going on, now see that uh, message from your father. And what are you noticing now? I feel more empowered. I feel like I... It does, it's not an immediate threat. Right. And when you know it's not an immediate threat, it's just a message, really. And when you're feeling you know, more empowered and you know that you know, you're, we're always in a state of becoming more, right? Becoming more empowered, becoming more of who you are as a man and all of this. And then as you allow yourself to really feel that, right? and now see that uh, message from your father. <laughs> yeah. That's better, <laughs> right? So now we know the brain is starting to really take this. Now we know that, we're, that change is happening because that, <laughs> that's, that comes from an unconscious place. So this is when I know we're, we're, we're making headway mm -hmm. and body way. So feel what it feels like when you're getting that independence even more. Because the truth is we are independent, but sometimes we're made to feel that we aren't. And life is about becoming even more. So feel what it feels like when you've got that. And now you see that text from your dad. What are you noticing now? I noticed that it just seems like another part of my day. Yeah. It doesn't seem that big. Yeah. And when it's not that big and it's just a part of your day and you're really feeling, you know, independent and you just kind of allow yourself to stay solid, comfortable inside who you are, no matter who texts you, no matter where you are, right? I always look for that kind of inner state of like comfort, which is I can say, hey, how's it going? to a group of 300 people or one person. I feel the same, right? Because it's just me and I'm pretty solid with who I am. And that's what I'm inviting you to have. It's not even about your father. It's about how you want to be in the world. And when you kind of start to feel how good it feels to just be solid and comfortable, now see that text from your father. What are you noticing now? I'm noticing that I, I can choose to interact with it or I cannot, and that it's, yeah. it's definitely not as big an issue. Right. And do you see this constant shrugging of the shoulders? That's what I love. I look for that. That's the body going, you know, that. That's hardwired into, eh, it is what it is, right? It's just a given. And so, when you imagine in the future, having made this change, but so many more changes, and feeling solid and comfortable in who you are as a man, kind of with all that, that, you know, all your dreams and hopes and your life, and you feel how good it feels to have changed this dynamic, so that even every time you interacted with your father, it was from this place of comfort, right? How's it gonna feel? when you imagine that totally changing dynamics. Empowering and hopeful that yeah. it doesn't have to be the way it was. Right. And it doesn't because you're growing, you're changing. And so is he. He just don't know it yet. <laughs> <laughs> so now see that text from your dad. What are you noticing now? Really allow yourself to notice. I notice an empathy. Yeah. Yeah. And when you notice that, right, 
because that's, that's how a grown-up feels, right? When you can see the human that he is, sometimes frail, sometimes misguided, right? A very different generation who's dealing with the fact that his son is a man. You know, that's just part of the process. So feel what it feels like when that's just who you are, solid, independent. And then imagine the next time you either see your dad or speak to your dad. And what are you noticing now? I'm noticing that it's more like equals. Yes. And feel how good that feels. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I want to see. Got it? I think we're good. And one more time, just that, that text. Yeah, we got it. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you.